Thank you for returning to my channel, Anthracite Horror Stories. And tonight I'm going to do a different type of video. I'm going to do a demonstration. And yes, you are watching this in the pitch dark. This is not a glitch, it's not an error. Keep uh, your screen on. I'm not in an Anthracite mine, but I'm in my old farmhouse basement. Um, that would have actually been, I think this house was built like in 1910. So this is exactly the same time period, roughly, when carbide lamps would have come uh, into use. And carbides were a better form of lighting. They were safer. It was easier for the miners, lasted longer, and it gave off a better type of light, um, more even f uh, light reflection. They had better reflectors, the, the, whole, the whole nine yards. And electric Edison mining lamps came out. And those were exactly what the name made them out to be. They were uh, electric head light caps, like what you see today. That you know they weren't LEDs, and they weren't the best quality of lighting, but um, they were you know electric mine caps. They they were revolutionary. So I'm going to showcase this teapot oil wick lamp, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to show what it would have been like from the 1840s to about. World War One, or a few years before World War One, so 1914, 1912, 1910. So I just want to show how crazy it was that these guys had to work in these conditions. Use a match. That's kerosene. So that's burning kerosene, and in one of my prior videos. I talked about how they would have cut these um, kerosene supplies with pig lard. So it would have been cut maybe half lard, half kerosene, or maybe even a third lard, two thirds kerosene, um, simply because the miners were getting pillaged by the company store at higher inflated prices for their supplies that they were forced to buy. Um, so just to save kerosene, and money, they would cut the supply. So this is a Managahila, Managahili, Managahila, I don't know how to say it, uh, Valley teapot oil wick from bituminous coal country. Uh, this would have been used in the anthracite also. They, they had a, a lot of local companies produce these, but this, this most likely was used in a bituminous mine um, just because it's from Managahila Valley. Um, can't find the maker's mark anymore, but if you, if you look hard enough, you can find it. I did restore this. This back hinge here is made out of iron, and it's all rusted. Those are usually made out of copper, so they didn't oxidize like this one is. This thing smokes terribly, which is pure kerosene. It's just like an oil fire. I'll show you later how bad it is. So the miners, in addition to having to worry about methane explosions. Uh, this would have better shot of it. It would have been filling up their workings with this black soot. That is so sooty. It's worse in person. The camera's not really showing how bad it is. <laughs> you can taste the kerosene. And my poor father accidentally filled his right on Cub Cadet with kerosene over the summer. That was fun. So I had to empty it all out and I have like seven plus gallons of kerosene. So at least I'll put it to good use with this teapot. So this has a proper lid. Um, it's properly sealed, although it is leaking slightly. I don't know why it's still leaking. I don't know the burn time. I, I did fill this up one time. I think I got about 45 minutes out of it which is crazy because um, I remember reading in historical accounts where this would last the shift. I don't think that is even remotely the case because in the 1800s they were working 10, 12 hour days uh, before the 1902 strike. I don't know if it was 12 or 10 and then it was cut down to eight. But at one point they were working 12 hour shifts and it was cut down to 10 and then eventually down to eight. But, um, now, a miner and a laborer would have both had these, so there would have been at least two of these headlamps. Man, I can actually see the kerosene soot. 
being inhaled as I'm speaking and coming out of my lungs like a cigarette. Wow. So uh, this has better ventilation down here than a coal mine. So these guys would have, whoo, you've been lowering your lungs up with kerosene smoke. I'm sure there have been a lot of uh, lung cancer cases. Wow. So uh, what was I talking about there before the, the lungs? Man, that's crazy. Just can't get over that soot. So the whole point of this video ultimately is I just want to walk around my my basement. That's a this, this there's a section I'm in that's unfinished. Kind of looks like a coal mine. Kind of looks like a gob wall. And a lot of the times they actually did do this same type of finish with concrete. Um, looks the same exact as an old period coal mine gob wall. So it's about 30 feet by. 15 feet so it's exactly a perfect coal mine chamber which was working and I just want to walk around and show their lighting conditions for uh, yeah, 80, 80 years maybe 1840s 1830s actually we'll say 1830s um, to World War One so before the 1920s this is all they had and this would be further up on their head so it would be just like this. It's a diagram from another video I did. So this is pretty wild to think that they would have um, just had this amount of light to drive all these intricate tunnels and slopes and drifts and vertical shafts. Uh, blasting all that coal. It's, 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 it's confusing and dangerous work. You can see down the ground. I'm not giving too much light. Um, you know, illumination is a, a very important thing. There was, you know, no electricity. Everything was steam powered um, from the Civil War onward for the equipment, but they still just had these types of lights. You can see my out of focus here camera doesn't want to focus because lighting's that bad do, do, do. If I hold it off so you can see the reflection in the window here but that's that's not not the best quality of light. Pretty scary. And you know, there'd be so many obstructions, things protruding out, things to trip on, huge amounts of rock and coal and shale. And shale's real sharp. Right, here's an old cabinet. So you can see this is all they had roughly. Gives you an idea. Machine shops and all. The old barns. This is this is the extent of their illumination. Yikes. Not that hot. And this would have been on their hat. wasn't even a helmet. It was just a leather cap. And they would be bar. They come out filthy just from the soot. And this is not cut again. This is pure kerosene. It's absolutely filthy. So we'll walk over here, try not to trip. So if they're working at this face and they hit methane pocket, natural gas, it would be essentially like going up to a natural gas main on a street. Actually, okay, we'll just say if you know there was a, a leak on your natural gas line in your basement and um, it was ruptured and you came down here with that, what do you think is going to happen? Boom. That's what happened in a lot of the uh, videos I've uploaded. So these were very dangerous. This would pollute the immediate workspace for the miners, so they're breathing that. Now if this did go out, they would put their foot on the rail like this and just drag themselves against the rail until they finally got in an adjacent main haulage gangway, which was like a, a highway network system within the mine. Uh, until they can hear someone working and another working and yell for help 
or uh, just keep following uh, out of their working to a gangway and then just keep traveling down that gangway until they got to the portal or the shaft or wherever to a mule barn or a hospital to get help so you can see this is yikes that would be spooky so I'm gonna move quick too I want to see if this extinguishes if you're in a near panic and I'm walking at a slow pace there even and it almost wants to go out so if you know there's an explosion or a horrible accident you've witnessed um, you might extinguish your damn headlamp and then you gotta find your matches and relight it if you have enough composure to do so so there's a lot of variables with these. Wow. I wonder what this lamp has seen in its day. Because again, this is authentic. Can only imagine. And it is made out of solid brass. It's got lead seals. I know it's lead, especially because these seals are complete. You can't tell with this, but these lead seals, some of them are silver on the other side, but these are pure black. And when lead oxidizes, it's black. Up top there, I don't know if that's a vent, that little pinhole, just to prevent a vapor buildup. It just has a wick that goes down that I re-wicked, and it just soaks up the um, kerosene at the very bottom the container there. You can see they're not the biggest things. So again, we'll go over here and I'll just simulate on your head what it would have been like. Man, that's terrible lighting. It, it's not It's not the worst. I'm, I'm, uh, the worst thing, to be honest. Um, but it's not the best. <laughs> Now in a hard rock mine like copper, gold, or silver, you don't have to worry about the explosion factor. And for me, I'd be worried about the explosion factor all the time. That would just be something constantly weighing on their minds, I'm sure. So I'm gonna just simulate if they were working and placing their lamp down, loading a coal car. So if you're loading a coal car, this is about 10 feet away. And again, there would be two of these usually. That's it. This is the only amount of light you have. 10 feet. That's wild. They really are almost a romantic looking quintessential Americana item. I mean... So primitive, but awe inspiring to me. But then again, I'm just a coal nerd. So now this is a later model um, miner's lamp. This would this has a little bracket mount for an Edison lamp, an electric cap lamp, uh, or even a carbide. Carbide would fit on that. So again, this is not from this era, but the leather ones would have a similar set up so it would have went like that not off to the side like that Ooh, that spout's hot even down there yikes so this would have been way more straight so there you go something like that this would probably catch on fire now with like a uh Bakelite, or maybe just an outright plastic, probably 40s, 50s vintage. So again, this is not, you can even see the Art Deco on the helmet here, I'll zoom in. Very cool, very cool styling, very Art Deco-y. Um, but the, the leather cap, I, I'd imagine you even catch your leather cap on fire. But 
but uh, this gives the cool aesthetic. Now just to give you an idea, this is a through night. I don't do, um, not sponsored by them. This is a through night. Very, very low end. This is a high end company, flashlight company, but uh, this is like their weakest model. Just takes one lithium battery. And uh, I have a bigger, better one of these. And then they make uh, even huger much bigger version so this is like the lowest flashlight on the totem pole for this company and you saw the lighting how poor it was and this is on turbo mode so that gives you an idea as to how those guys had to suffer down there they probably never truly had a grasp as to what the mine in fact, did look like that they were working in. Because, um, I mean, you, you can't compete with this, like modern technology. We have it good now. These poor guys. Again, I'm just going to come up here. Do another walk around. Just to simulate what I just did. With the modern flashlight. There's no comparison. Man, that thing is just smoking like a steam train wow so caustic <laughs> sure a lot of them got lung cancer to even think about that angle until after doing this video it's pretty stable holds up with the wind pretty good I must say that it's starting to get low on fuel, or the wick is getting a little janky there. But yeah, you can read with the type of light. This is just from the formation of anthracite coal in the Wyoming Valley. Very neat, though. Different type of video. Um, I didn't see anything like this on the interwebs. Demonstration showing the uh, actual lumen. Illumination factor for a teapot oil wick lamp. But, uh, kind of in awe of this. I don't know. It's really neat. It's almost like uh, a Roman era thing. Like when they were going into Indiana Jones movies here. You gotta love in Hollywood when they light a lighter up. It just lights everything up to like normal electricity in a house. In reality, this is all you had. But uh, as always, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, any comments, please feel free to leave them and I will answer them best as I can. Very nice, very nice. So cool. Thanks again. God bless.